the only option is to try and carry the youngest girl out of danger. Oh, shit. Central 2, Black Rhino, there's just a couple of kids there on bodyboards, you can keep getting in. Well outside the safety of the flags, two boys drift towards Bondi's notorious backpacker's rip. <laughs> While Yatesy looks for their parents, Dino keeps watch on the boys. Before they get into any more trouble, Troy heads out. A local surfer also comes to their aid. Back on shore, the parents finally make an appearance. While the kids enjoy a Bondi sleigh ride, it's lesson time for mum and dad. Surf safety 101. They've got to be up between the flags. They're, they're and you should be there, watching them. Well, you obviously I weren't watching them. The lifeguard went in to rescue them five minutes ago. Ten-year-old Patrick was introducing French friend Nikolai to his favourite playground. Well, I got hit in the back by a big wave, so then me and my friend just tried to swim back, but we couldn't because the wave was too deep. I tried holding on, but then I was under the surfboard, and then the lifeguard came. I didn't notice there is a current. If they're going to be sucked inside, you know, over there, there could be big danger, right? Luckily, it's everything all right. The conditions are very dangerous today. We've got small children. It's advised by lifeguards to stay as close as you can to the children. On a sunny Sunday, families flock to Bondi's North End, usually the safest part of the beach. But today, there's a dangerous rip. Many children aren't even aware what a rip is. This is two swimmers right in front. Can you return to shore, please? Swimming in a dangerous area. Lifeguards know the danger, even if some kids and parents don't. <coughs> Suddenly, a child screams for help. Kyle races in, then Tom. <coughs> Two girls are drowning. Kyle grabs both. <coughs> but then, there's a third girl in trouble. Tom rescues her as quick as helps Kyle with the first two. Three girls have nearly drowned and not a parent to be seen. Unbelievable. You can probably see there's a rescue going on right now. It's not very safe to swim. If you want to swim, walk up to the red and yellow flag. Mate, we're just kind of kicking back thinking it's okay, but bang. And they just went so quickly. At least now, they're screaming with delight. Thank you. <laughs> Dino decides it's time for a serious lecture. <laughs> Parents are going to get a rev up. Okay, come here. Where, where's your mum? Come here. No, I'm well done, boys. Where are you? Girls, where are you from? Korea. Korea. <laughs> That was, that was scary. Mate, I don't know where they came from, but they shouldn't have been out there. She was scared. She was screaming. She was really scared. They're now three lost kids. Keep going, mate. You'll find him soon. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Good. Do you know your three girls almost just died then? Yeah. And they had to be rescued by lifeguards? Yeah. How come you're not watching them? Watching you? 
뭐 어떤 보트 있잖아요 카누 같은 그런 보트요 그래서 태워갖고요 우리 구해서 이렇게 온 거예요 아, yeah. When your girls are in the water yeah. you must watch them yeah. Okay? Yeah. And they must swim yeah. where the red and yellow flags are yeah. They could have died yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had people die here. Uh, Imagine only having two uh, daughters. Yeah, yeah. Two daughters? Well, you one, one. Ah, uh, yeah. Very sad. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, I understand. Well done, Dino. Message received loud and clear. No, kind of. as a court in a fierce rip as lifeguards sign off. Bacon heads out on the one rescue board that hasn't been packed away. But the rip is taking them around the point and close to rocks. They realise, like in dead set, 10 minutes, they're dead. Yeah. It's 10 to 7. We're gone, aren't they dead? Paddling through the waves with two patients on board is impossible. Light out, can you got a light out for me? He's got them both on, he looks alright, looks comfortable, but he might struggle with a bit there. Bacon may have the two girls on board, but now all three are caught metres from the rocks. George, you really got a cop rope with me? The only option is to try and carry the youngest girl out of danger. Oh shit. Cope wants to help, but getting there is a problem. You're fine, you're fine. Bacon is desperate to avoid another set of waves. Meanwhile, Kobe joins the rescue with Bacon's runaway board. Hey, come this way. He's carrying one girl, so she's obviously hurt a leg. And then the board's washed in, so Kobe has grabbed the other girl. The older girl is safely ashore. Finally, Kobe can help Bacon with the younger thing. Oh my god, I almost broke my leg. No, you're right. Ah, that was heavy. Remarkably, the youngest girl is unscathed. That was gnarly. Not so, her friend. friend. You want to go to, to the tower? We'll give you some first aid if you're right. I got, got caught in a real bad spot then, and I just I couldn't do anything. I had two girls on my board, and the wave kind of bowled up around me. I couldn't punch through it, and I just went with it. I was it. thinking, I think we need help, I think we need help, and then um, when we were being bobbed up and down, we saw the lifeguards come and get us, so we were, like, <laughs> right on time. Oh, yeah. What is the assistance? Yeah. Spotting someone in trouble, a volunteer lifesaver has commandeered a lifeguard board and single-handedly taken on a mass rescue. We've got one bodyboard between them. I'm starting to think that, you know, three people, that's it's hard to take control of. He's probably trying to, you know, look after all of them and you can lose one quite easily. It was terrible, yeah, they could not swim a single stroke. Get rid of this bodyboard. It was a little girl and she was very, very frightened. Come here, come here, come here. At least two of the people can be offloaded onto Ryan's board, but then a large wave looms up. You're trying to keep eyes on them while they're watching for every wave that rolls through. Because if they go under, you won't know where they've gone. He's losing his board, then that's, you know, one less piece of equipment, one less floating thing, so yeah, that makes it a lot more dangerous and a lot more risky. With 
kids, yeah, it starts to get a lot more serious to me because they can't, they can't help themselves. Yeah, boys, uh, the clubby lost his board, so now it's Ryan with three patients. A woman named Sunset and her daughter Moon live in Australia. The second girl is a cousin visiting from Asia. It was such a stressful moment that the little girl was, yeah, crying and you know, she thought she was going to drown. Box paddled out, and you don't get box out much for rescues anymore these days. But once again, it's a clubby who beats lifeguards to the punch. Clubbies are great, you know. We really need their help. They assist us a lot throughout the summer. A lot of the times there, yeah, we couldn't do without them. The family are still coming to terms with what just happened. We're all having fun, but all of a sudden it's just, you know, happened. Yeah. Ah. Oh my god. Oh.